Coming up on the most predictable season of The Bachelor yet, this is Roses from a Thorn, The Bachelor Recap. While chances that this will be the most shocking and unpredictable season of The Bachelor yet are slim, I think it may be the first season that hasn't featured a single, single parent. Truthfully, this may be one of the least painful crews we've seen on The Bachelor, but that's not to say there weren't some uncomfortable moments in the first episode of season 23. Hey, new Bachelor drinking game for Colton season. You drink every time you hear the word virgin. Let's do this. All right, enough. Don't try that one at home. Here's a quick recap of what happened in night one. We had to sit through a lot of talking, producers on ABC trying to prove to us that you can find love on the show because that helps with ratings, but that's besides the point. A couple of proposals, man, I thought proposals at sporting events were bad. Neil Lane got a little bit of FaceTime, yada, yada, yada. Let's move on to the introductions. Notable introductions included Erica McNutt giving Colton a bag of nuts, which apparently wasn't very memorable because he forgot her name just a little bit later. Caitlin popping Colton's cherry, please God, tell me that doesn't count as a drink. Demi telling Colton she hasn't dated a virgin since she was 12, please don't make me drink anymore. Brie faking an Australian accent because she wanted to stand out. And Alex D joining the party in a sloth costume because Colton likes to take things slow. That was incredibly painful. Thank God she didn't get a rose, but you can guarantee you'll see her on The Bachelor in Paradise this summer. Drama on this episode was kept to a minimum, but it did include DJ Catherine stealing Colton away four times and hogging FaceTime. These girls do know that they can just say no, go away, right? This pissed off Onyeka, who had a brief altercation with Catherine. Things were squashed and we move on. It would appear that Catherine's about to be the villain this season, but I do predict an early exit and don't have her hanging on very long. Now we all might as well bail on the rest of the season because Hannah G has this in the bag. As soon as she sat down with Colton, I turned to my coworker and I said, she's about to get the first impression rose and lo and behold, she got it. Something has to go horribly wrong in order for her not to win this season. This season may get a little confusing because I have Hannah B sticking around for quite a while as well. 2018's Miss Alabama is easy on the eyes, interacts well with the camera and has enough Southern charm to stick around. Maybe a little bit awkward, but her and Colton seem to have a pretty good connection. Another pageant girl, Kaylin, who was 2018's Miss North Carolina, also made an early impact. She and Colton appeared to hit it off and you should bet on her sticking around until at least the final four episodes. Uh, and then there's, uh, and then there's Demi. Sorry, is, uh, is this thing still rolling? What was I saying? Demi's my pick to make a little bit of a run this season. This little firecracker is gonna be one to stir the pot a little bit later on. Not a winner, but another person that we can expect to see on Bachelor in Paradise this summer. At 31 years of age, Elise, the makeup artist from Alaska, is one of the two oldest women on the show. It seems like she'll stick around for a bit, just not sure that she'll be one to go the distance. Cassie is my sleeper pick. The speech pathologist from Huntington Beach had a no drama sweetheart approach that may end up paying dividends for her in the end. We had a little tease of the rest of the season that included the word virgin a bunch more. <laughs> Don't make me do it. A lot of tears and Colton throwing a hissy fit and running away from his problems. I don't know if anything will compare to Ari's crazy finish to last season, but I guess time will tell. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Roses from a Thorn. We'll see you next week.